Okay, so I'll take that of uh, the infrastructure that you talked about. Manpower. Manpower. Um, like I said, when we talk about um, doctors leaving the country, it has a positive side, it has a negative side. The positive side in the sense that people go out there, they acquire skills. Now, there are quite a number of Nigerians, and it, it, it didn't start today. Um, doctors move, I mean, other um, um, professionals all over the world move from one part of the world to another. For example, from the UK, doctors in the UK are leaving the UK for other parts of the world. So uh, it's not new. Uh, however, it's just uh, we begin to notice this because we're having a, a massive um, uh, a situation where quite a number of uh, professionals have left the country. If we create the right enabling environment here, they would stay. And I want to say this. It is not just, uh, we just keep saying everything, government should do this, government should do that. What about the private sector? Other parts of the world, um, charity organizations, NGOs, they, they fund a lot of things, you know. Very wealthy people all over the world put their monies in research, in healthcare. Uh, you know what Bill Gates is doing with vaccination, you know. So what is, what is stopping us? We also have uh, wealthy people in the country. So we should also encourage the private sector to, to support. So government cannot do everything. There is no part of the world where government does everything. They don't have all the resources. So they will also have to support the government, uh, put their monies in this the healthcare. It's very important. You know? And um, once that is done, we have the right environment. Not, not everyone wants to leave his country to go and be um, a second-class citizen somewhere. No. But when the right environment is not there, if we have better security, doctors feel safer here in Nigeria, uh, they are, the remuneration is right, they will, why, why would you be going to other countries? And let me also say, that even when you go out there, you all, there's this zeal to always want to come back home. And so we have a lot of people who have traveled in the, in the 80s and the 90s, well, the ones in the 80s are quite old now, maybe retired. The ones in the 90s, the, the 2000s, they are all willing, quite a number of people are willing to come back home to give back, you know. But that environment must be right. And so, yes, we are, we're behind in terms of um, uh, infrastructure, manpower. Uh, as as uh, Professor Abdul has said, um, it's, it's really tough. Um, it's just recently that we now have um, tissue typing laboratories. There's one in my, my center in Zeni. There is in Kano, and there are one or two other centers that government has put money and they are trying to set up. I think maybe Guagalada may be part of them. I'm not quite sure, but I think so. You know, so government is doing its bit. The private sector needs to also learn to, you know, the, the people in the private sector are more comfortable with putting their monies in the oil sector, yeah, in the banking sector. They, but they can also get their money back in the health sector. This is one thing I've, I've always said. Um, healthcare is business all over the world. It's business in America, you know. So why won't you invest in healthcare in Nigeria, in your own country? And your, that investment means a lot because it's not just, um, you're, you're also going to be saving lives. Mm. You know, this critical infrastructure that we don't have. What stops a private person from setting up a diagnostic center what stops us from putting their monies in, um, in, 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 in procuring some of these um, uh, equipment and um, putting some premium on it? So it, it's, it's, it can be business in Nigeria if it is done properly. And, and I will always say this, the government is doing their bit. So yes, we, have, we are behind, I mean, in terms of uh, both um, hospital infrastructure and then manpower. But I believe that uh, we'll, we'll get there. Right. If we keep pushing, we'll get there.